Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. We're here. There's a submarine. We're in uh, Germany. Um, we're playing Iron Wolf VR. So uh, what is Iron Wolf VR? Well, it's a submarine game in VR. As you can see, I have my little hands here. Uh, so I can uh, do uh, my thing. So uh, as you, if you've been following my channel for a while, and we have hats it seems. Nice. Of course gonna take that hat. Not that I can see it. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you have seen I've played Cold Waters. Uh, I also have a love for World War II submarines. Uh, so I figured uh, I'd play this. This is a U-boat, a Type 7, I believe. Don't uh, check me. Don't, uh, I mean, you can correct me on it. Um, but yeah, the Type 7 uh, submarine. That's uh, what you play here. There's uh, some way, I don't know how. To uh, apparently play a destroyer. I have no interest in destroyers though. Submarines are way more interesting. If you do have interest in it, I'll leave a comment below and I'll uh, see what I can do about it. But uh, for now, we're gonna head into our submarine. And uh, we're gonna start off with giving a tour and then see if we can get into some trouble. So let's start a game. Open world. How we're gonna do it? We're gonna commission a submarine. The Bronze Dolphin 8. Okay. Um, I think it's a Type 7 submarine though, but I'm not sure. We're gonna play alone, since uh, I have no friends. Medium difficulty. And uh, we're basically playing... Now you get to see my in VR. Uh, we're basically playing until I uh, die. So, uh, let's uh, do a guide of the submarine, a basic guide. This is uh, control room, control uh, speed. Can't control anything now because we're in the fast travel mode. Uh, control heading, or you set the heading. Uh, some dials telling you some stats, not speed, diesel, battery, oxygen. Death under kill, useful to have. Death meter, uh, compass, uh, rudder angle. Uh, this is for water flow, airflow. Some dials, you can read the, what the dials say. And uh, that's the control room. If we go up here, we're not allowed to because we're in fast travel mode. We're gonna make this a quick tour. And uh, you'll see some of this in action. We're here in the torpedo rooms. Fire torpedoes and all of that. Load torpedoes. No torpedoes here as you can see right now, but when this is empty, torpedo appears. Pop in a torpedo and you're good to go. We're uh, not, not gonna interact much with that in this series, but I'll try to interact a bit with every room uh, at least once in this series. I don't know how long this series will last because once we die, it's game over. That simple. Here we have our, uh, I don't know, world map room and uh, hydrophone. Targeting computer, useful to have. Switch those switches, fire torpedoes, manual control. Of course, real life, there was not much of it in World War II, if any. But in this game, there is. Lock torpedo. Here you have a periscope with uh, a couple of buttons. Fixed mode, not really relevant for us. Lock target. So when you see a target on your scope, you uh, pop that. Target locked. Simple enough. Let's get our world map here. Uh, world map just can give orders. We can uh, engage targets as they appear. There we engage. We'll uh, take a look at that in a minute. We, uh, we're not in a hurry. Uh, here we have our engine room. Currently running on diesel. Uh, probably shouldn't, since we're underwater. But, uh, okay. Can we uh, switch that off to electric? Let's see, uh... Switch you... Let's switch you off. Thank you. Oh, it's still going? Uh... There's some way to turn off the engine. That's the main breaker, don't want to touch that. Let's just uh, ignore that for now. And let's get our uh, periscope down. Up scope, and let's see, hydrophone, they're at 270-ish, ah, here we go. Merchant, merchant, 
frigate. Okay, cool. So, we'll lock target on our frigate. And... It's calculating firing solution here, as you can see. Target is out of range. Um... Let's take a look here. Is there a mode to go? Go silent. I hear the diesel. Engines running. Oh. Let's see. 2,000 something meters, and that's out of range. Let's head over here. Can we, like, shut you up? Or maybe it does that automatically, since we do have the assists on. That's probably reverse. That's our electric engine. That would do it. Ah. Okay, so it looks like our... Oops, I'm standing in the periscope. So it looks like our assist is... Uh, Taking chance or uh, taking charge. Let's go full ahead. Um, let's head back. Let's see where this guy was. Okay, let's uh, see if we can. I have no clue what the range is. Okay, we seem to be having a lock. Okay, so there we can manually adjust. Let's uh, restart it. Okay. Ah, okay, so it drifts. There's some... Uh, it's calculating. Target locked. Okay, uh, let's fire torpedoes. Over here we can see our target. Oh! They noticed immediately. Where is she? Uh... Oh, she's heading straight for us. Um, down scope. Uh, let's pop you up. Um, is there no way to turn into a quiet mode? Uh, flood the ballast tanks. Is that dead slow? Let's uh, try to get neutral buoyancy. Let's head towards him. A bit more war. A bit too much.
Okay. Full speed ahead. Oh, here they come. Uh. We have a damage repair tool somewhere. There. Oh. That's oxygen. Uh. Oh, oh, we, uh, I forget where's the damage repair tool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, is this it? That's oxygen. Sure. Uh, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, we're doomed. I need some uh, better light. I could swear there was a damage repair tool somewhere. That's oxygen. Well, gentlemen. Uh, it's been an honor. There is uh, no recovering from this. Boy, that that sub that uh, that destroyer was quick on the trigger. I can't see. Shit. Oh, I think I'm dying. Come on. Come on. Uh Nope. Okay, well that sucks. Uh we did nothing. I did not expect that frigate to uh, be that quick on the trigger. Well, I uh, will uh, try again uh, in the next episode then. So, thank you all for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.